Hi everyone, my name is Jesse and this is the Auditorium at React to Video Game Music as a musician myself and today is the return after a long time of Bastion. Super Giant Games. This is going to be the song Setting Sail, Coming Home. The end theme. Oh, maybe I'll hear that one second actually. Then. Yeah, I'm going to hear that one second. And Terminal March. Let me flip this order. I don't know, no, that was the ending song. Uh, these are requested by Futune and That Guy Returns. Just a quick little history. I played my first Super Giants game not too long ago with Hades. I loved every moment of it. I made a guitar cover video of it for Scourge of the Furies. I did a top 20 video of my favorite songs from Hades. I've seen the whole behind the scenes making of Hades. I'm a huge Darren Corb fan and uh, you can call me a Super Giant fan. So I haven't played any of the other games, but I'm very curious. One day I'll try them all out. And I do remember having Bastion on the channel a long time ago, but I don't remember what it sounds like, which is cool because, you know, I get to experience it kind of fresh again. So let's see what uh, Darren Corb did here. If I recall correctly, mm, I think Bastion was their first game. Don't quote me on that. I could look it up, but I think Bastion was their first game. Anyways, we're going to start with Terminal March, actually. Alright, this is from the Super Giant Games channel. Let's go. I wonder if that's the actual cover art, or if that's just like maybe the album art of the headphones. I know Darren likes to use instruments from all over the world. I feel like 
Here, let me recreate what this character is doing. Get a thumbnail going. I was expecting this music. I gotta go hear what the other Bastard song sounded like. Proper story was the first song I heard. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, proper story was the first song I heard back when who knows when. So that was interesting because back then I had no idea anything. You know, now fast forward and I play Hades and I put a lot of hours into Hades. I did basically everything in that game besides 32 heat. So I was pretty familiar with it. I beat it with every weapon, blah, 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 blah. I even got a pretty good uh, clear time of like 15 minutes. I was pretty proud of myself. But, um, <clears throat> with a fist. <laughs> but, you know, that one game was enough for me to have like full on confidence and support for this studio. I can tell the passion. It's like a small team too. And they all, like, I love their, um, their synergy together. The writing, everything, everything, everything. So, from what I collected, bits and pieces here, that sometimes they brought up Bastion and the Transistor and Pyre, and I believe pa Bastion was the first one. And I heard even that was, like, good. I think all the games are universally praised, and the only one that gets some sort of flack would be Pyre, because it was, like, multiplayer type of thing, but it's still pretty good. But either way... Uh... uh like, if, to be totally honest, if someone told me that that was the same composer as Hades and I heard it blind and I didn't see the image or anything, I wouldn't have guessed that was Darren. Not because of the quality or anything, but it sounds so different from Hades that that's so thoroughly impressive because uh, I've seen his work ethic and I know that he's mentioned that he kind of goes all in depending on like what's the mood. Right, uh, they said Hades was like a Mediterranean kind of like Halloween theremin sound and all that stuff, even though that was a keyboard. You know, these Greek and Turkish instruments were here. I don't know what the what the what the vibe is. I have to listen to a proper story again, but I wasn't expecting that kind of like Middle Eastern energy, and I don't even think I've even heard anything like that, like that in my life, where it was like these very percussive sitar-like instruments with this boom boom ba boom ba it's just you know everything sounded so distorted and in your face even the, the percussion sounded a little like cranked on the game and if that was a sitar then i never heard a sitar sound like that a sitar is like i guess uh the main instrument of india it's like it's, you sit on the floor like crisscross and it's sitting between your legs and it's gigantic it's like a bunch of strings i don't even know how many strings i want to guess like 16 or something Probably not, I don't know. But it has a very clean sound. Very, a lot of overtones and harmony type sounds. But on this one, it sounded kind of like he added just like a, a grit morsel of distortion so it added a little bit more of a bite to it. I don't know, it was crazy. And then I never heard it with that sort of percussion. So, I don't know, the whole thing was uh, pretty rad. Terminal March? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get any sort of like specific setting. You know, I don't want to go like the easy way of like, oh, it sounds like Middle Eastern, but it but it really did. But I don't think this game is like that. This this game seems more. Actually, I actually have no idea what this game is. I've seen very few screenshots, and it looks kind of the same thing, right? Like the isometric view, but I didn't get a, like a real grasp on the world. It looked more cartoonish, I guess. But I have no idea what this game is about. <laughs> I think I'll, I'm gonna have to. Um, buy them all when they go on sale super giants games like to uh do, let me see actually do i have no I, oh i did i did <laughs> i did buy these when they're all on sale so i currently own uh bastion hades obviously um or did i buy them all or did I buy? let me see uh yep transistor and I don't have Pyre. Why don't I have Pyre? 
Hmm. Oh, maybe I just chose individual or something. I don't know. I, I just remember recently they, they went on sale and it was like 10 bucks or something for like all of them. So they're sitting there in my library, you know, because of that Hades playthrough. Like, you know, it's just enter the backlog one day. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to stream it or just play it for myself, but um, I look forward to it someday. And I think there's only one or two requests left for this game. We still have another song to listen to, by the way. But yeah, that was uh, really cool. Terminal March. Never heard anything like that before. And then setting sail coming home. I did not know it was an ending theme until I just pulled this up right here because it says in parentheses ending theme. Now I'm going to guess that this is going to sound way different than anything in the soundtrack because that's what happened in the 80s. Everything was like kind of somewhat uniform and then the ending was Austin Wintery and cellos and everything. So let's see what this is. Uh, setting sail, coming home. Ending theme. Okay, so the percussion is still there. So maybe there's no like actual drum sets in this. The more MIDI drums. Just a regular acoustic guitar. to assume that's him. Ashley again? Okay. You know, I, I kind of was half expecting some vocals just because it's the ending theme, but um, hmm. To me, I, I mean, I'm aware that Kit Darren sings. I always say I know more of his kind of higher voice, like the Orpheus sound. This one sounded more like his closer to his regular vocal tone. And the other vocalist sounded? I don't know. The only reason I thought it was Ash is because I know they, they're like friends in real life and I could assume they would just, you know, collaborate together often. So let me see if it actually says here. I'll get the lyrics. I don't want to read the lyrics, but. Oh, yep. Ashley Barrett and Darren Corb. Damn, Ashley has a range. Like, that actually sounded like a different person to me. You know? Then again, 
my only experience with her is it's Hades, but still, you know, like I just thought this is what her singing voice sounds like, but apparently not. This is obviously uh, slightly younger. I don't know how many years were in between, but still, like it sounded like, I don't know, it sounded like her, but it didn't, I guess, but it's still impressive. Yeah, Bastion's uh, interesting. It has a... What's the word here? What's the... What's the vibe of this whole game? From what I've seen... The only footage I've seen of this game is the... Whatever tiny footage they've shown in the behind the scenes of the Hades one. So it seemed like a lot of... Somewhat nature-ish... Kind of settings, biomes. And then, you know, we see these and we see some vines, trees, right? Character looks like they don't have much. They got a simple little getup. So it seems more, I don't know. I don't know. It's a very interesting world so far. And I still don't, I don't even know what Bastion means. For all I know, that could be uh, the name of the character, you know? So... And then even then, I just noticed even the font of the title has like leaves coming out of it and all stuff. Very interesting. Setting sail coming home. I'm going to assume that's kind of like a tiny light spoiler, like we're probably heading out into the to the seas or something. But yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm, I'm over here just trying to think of. I'm actually more shocked at how different it is and, and and how much of a good thing that is, you know? Uh, I really respect video game composers, but I respect them tenfold when I can't even recognize their work sometimes, you know? I have such a... Like, I'm aware that I've, I've heard Transistor before, Bastion. I think I've even heard Pyre before, too, I'm pretty sure. But since Hades is so recent, I have that sound in my head. I heard nothing but Hades for like two months straight. And to then hear this, it's like, what's the same person? That's so wild to me. You know? They they stuck that's inspiring, really. It really is inspiring. Like, you know, what's the Because I've always this is kind of like a side tangent, but if I wasn't just like most people who don't know what their career is gonna be, I just knew I wanted to do something in music and a fallback would be something in like games like maybe voice acting or something but well i mean i landed on youtube but if i ever had the chance to do any song for any video game i would dive so like i would give so much of my undivided attention to it and i would do the same thing like um subconsciously not just because of stuff like this but i think the same way you know like tell me everything even if it was, I, I think about stuff like this all the time, like shower thoughts. If say like this gig were to magically happen, hey, like, hey, write this one song for this one game. Like, cool, tell me everything about it, you know? So it's, it's, it's that's what I mean by inspiring, like this, this Darren fella. He's got the chops, plays drums, sings, bass, guitar, records it, masters it, voice actors voice acts <laughs> um it's pretty inspiring stuff man pretty inspiring stuff one day i'll play it i own it i i feel like the super giant games go on sale quite often so i have transistor and bastion and i guess i just didn't buy pyre but uh yeah cool super giant games bastion setting sail coming home and Terminal March, both of those songs were completely different from each other, but gave me this sort of like electronic raw drum sound with some Middle Eastern influence. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. So I'm going to have to listen to that other song from way back in the day and uh, go from there. So I'll let you know when I play this, if I decide to stream it or not. Who knows? Okay, cool. Thank you for your tune. And uh, that guy returns. Thank you to all my Patreon members you see here. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to my Platinum members. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to Darren Corb. We'll see you all later. Peace.